The singer Saisha Mercado, 34 years old, shared an hour-long Instagram video of sheriff's deputies, forcing her to hand over her newborn daughter on the side of the road, even as Mercado told them her baby was still breastfeeding. They took our baby again, she captioned the video on 11th of August. 10 points on American Idol contestant, Saisha Mercado, forcefully separated from her babies. Fact number 1. Mercado has explained that, she brought her firstborn son, Amon Ra, to Johns Hopkins, All Children's Hospital, in St. Petersburg, earlier this year. She took him in to get extra fluids, because he was weaning from extended breastfeeding to eating more solids. Fact number 2. She said, armed officers forcefully removed me from my son in March, after she was accused of abuse and neglect, in her words. Fact number 3. Warren said, a judge ordered Amon Ra to be sheltered and receive treatment. The parents refused to cooperate, the officer said, adding that, Safe Children's Coalition took over the case, including the decision to shelter Mercado's second child this week. Fact number 4. A family court judge ordered officers, to pick up the family's newborn daughter, which took place on Wednesday, Warren added. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office declined to comment further. Fact number 5. Mercado has received an outpouring of support, after she accused authorities of racial discrimination, in her GoFundMe page, which has raised more than $250,000, to bring Ra home. She wrote that, she and her partner Tyron need support to raise awareness, of the legal kidnapping of black babies through CPS. Fact number 6. According to Mercado's fundraiser, authorities accused her of refusing a B12 shot, that was a matter of life and death for Ra. Mercado alleges that's an absolute lie, saying they never refused the shot, and at no point was he on the verge of death. Fact number 7. Black people, and more specifically black women, are understandably hesitant of the medical profession. Too often, our concerns are overlooked and dismissed. Medical racism keeps people from getting the care they genuinely need. The fact that Saisha Mercado, as a black woman and mother, took her son to the hospital is a huge deal but she knew that she could not adequately take care of his needs, and she did the right thing. So for her to then have her baby taken from her? That is beyond heartbreaking. And now she may be justifiably fearful in the future. Fact number 8. Commander of the Child Protection Investigation Division, at the Manatee County Sheriff's Office, said in a statement to E! News, We understand that from the outside looking in, the division's actions seem uncaring, but let me assure you, we have the best interest of children and families in mind at all times. Fact number 9. The department follows numerous laws, to ensure we do not lose focus when dealing with vulnerable families, adding, the last thing anyone in this business wants to do, is shelter children from their parents, but sometimes it is the only direction we are forced to take. When the need arises to shelter children, according to Romano, the families are given guidance on how to reunite with their children. Fact number 10. Mercado has been fighting to be reunited with Amen Ra for months, calling him a captivating spirit, a beautiful light, with eyes bright like the sun on her GoFundMe page. He brightens up any room with his vibrant smile, she said. He is 18 months old and absolutely loves being in nature, his mommy reading to him, playing his djembe drums, and listening to his favorite album on the record player, Bob Marley.